All right, hi everybody. Uh, today's June 22nd. Welcome to the Chaos Common Working Group meeting. Um, kind of a light group today. Um, the minutes are in the chat. If you could add yourself, that would be great. Tell us how you're doing today. Sad about birds. Yes. Um, how am I doing? Oh, tomorrow is my birthday. Tomorrow's your birthday? Did you just say that? Ah, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. Happy birthday in advance. Thank you, thank you. Sneaks up on me every year. So how old? What's that? How old? I'm 50. Wow, so it's a anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have a, an honorary Matt's 50th birthday meeting. That's, we, that's, that's what this can be. This can be the... <laughs> The present from chaos to me is that I get to run the common meeting. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> isn't, isn't 50 the one that's usually uh, decorated with uh, like headstones and... Uh, yeah, it could be. And, and it, black balloons and... You are all more than welcome to send me such things. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that like in US 40th birthday is celebrated more than even 50th. I don't know. It's a big one in the US. That is a big, big one. one is? Why, why is it so, like, is there any custom related to that? I don't know. 40? I think it used to be considered, like, the the top of the, the hill of age. Yes, after <laughs> that, you're, you're oh. in decline. I don't know. Okay. Uh, amusingly, um, on our work calendar, they accidentally put my birthday down as Friday. When my birthday is the 23rd of June. And so I'm going to go into chat tomorrow and, and celebrate my 553rd month birthday like you do when you're you're a little kid and you're like, oh, he's 11 months old. Nice. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> so you still get a birthday of some sort. <laughs> yeah. Birthday 2.0. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to share my screen here. And um, one of the first things that we always do in common is we revisit our issues and pull requests. We can take a look at the PRs. Um, language distribution metric draft by Sean a couple weeks ago. So is anybody familiar with this one? Uh, or have a recollection. Oh, this looks I like I remember it. working on it, but I don't remember where it was. Can you scroll to the top real quick? Yeah, sorry. I always kind of assume when it's in a PR form. It's... So if, it, if it's in a PR form, then technically this should be ready for release. That's what I think too. Uh, I don't remember, I don't remember it though. Uh, and it doesn't have an issue connected to it. So let me, okay. Oh, and my name's on it. I do remember it. I, I had a lot to do with uh, this metric. The see, this is old, right? I mean, not like, this PR, but we've been talking about this metric for a while, haven't we? Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we must have been. Okay. So, do you, should I make a comment here, Kevin? Do you think? What's like, the what's Georg's comment there? Is that what we're waiting on? Uh, could you link the metric from the focus areas README? So, I think it was in what. Oh, adding it to the, uh, okay. Yes. Yep. Would be my guess. Right. So maybe, should I ping Sean on this? Uh, no, I can, I can take it. So I'm, I'm trying to catch up on metrics release stuff anyway. So I'm going through each working group and figuring out what where we're at as far as the metrics release goes. So I'll take this one and create the issue and okay. 
add the link in and, and I'll just merge the pull request and, and we'll just move it into the review process. Okay. Uh, I, have a, I have a quick question about that. Is, is adding that to the readme something that we do usually? Like for some reason, I have completely missed that step. I feel like. Uh, yes, we do yes. it. Yeah. Okay. It usually gets overlooked. Uh, yeah. Or I shouldn't say usually, but maybe 50% of the time it gets overlooked. So uh, we should probably add that as part of the, we should add that to the release handbook as the two things I, that you need to do when you release a metric is, well, the I, three things, I suppose. You create the pull request, you create the issue, and you add it to the, uh, the readme. I think it is written in the document, and even that is also written that uh, once it is done, then send an email to the list for release so that people can review it. Right. It is already written in there, so uh, release document. OK. All right, so that I think takes care of that one. Um, renamed focus areas. This looks like I think this is Kevin again. Uh, yeah, so I went to merge this today and there is a Works. merge conflict uh, on it. So I'm asking uh, Ritik to uh, Fix it. address the merge conflict. Okay. So, and again, it is, this is it's not one that I can easily resolve. Uh, okay. So, uh, so it's better if he does it either that or I have to basically close it and just redo it. Yeah. Or have Rit6 redo it. He'll respond. Yeah. I suspect. Okay. Um, and this is just, this is the who, what, when, where thing, yeah, right? We're renaming it to people, places, mm -hmm. uh, something, something else. Okay. Something else. Gotcha. All right, cool. So that one is fine from what it sounds like. Yep, I just need to fix it. When we merge it, it'll break the website. Uh, but uh, so I'll, ju I'll just have to uh, spend some time fixing it real quick. So that, that's okay. why it was hold up, holding up on, uh, okay. on me. So. All right, thank you, Kevin. Um, all right, so here are the issues. Um, does anything stand out to anybody? Looks like we have several, but not as this clones, is this an in progress metric? Yes, I worked on it. We can look at the, that document in this meeting. Okay. Um, new metric drive through contributors. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that one is that's a metric we're working on, and I believe mm -hmm. we are calling that episodic contributors now. Okay. Um, it, okay. Maybe it might be in the. Uh, uh, it's here. What's that? The, no, it, it might be in the uh, spreadsheet. Can you uh, anyone assign this clone metric in progress level? Because we are currently working on that. Say that again, Vinod. It was really hard to hear you. Yeah. Can anyone assign this new metric clones as a label of in progress? This one, drive through contributors. No, the first one. Uh, yep. Yeah. And above that, clones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's done. Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, it's somebody marked it now. I don't know. I did it. Okay. 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 Um, no, so I take, honestly, I take okay. that back. Episodic contributors has not been added to the uh, spreadsheet. Okay. Actually, we could could we look right now? I like to keep these aligned. Share for a second. So I'll bring my share back up. So, okay. So clones 
Do we have that in here? We do. So Vinod, is this updated? Is this the most recent document? Clone, okay. Yes, this document is updated. Okay. Bot activity, we have that here. And then this one you said is not in there right now, Kevin? One. Episodic? Uh, yeah, if you add it, I've got the link to the uh, the Google Doc. So if you if you add a line in people, I will go ahead and add okay. the link to the Google Doc. Uh, okay. We call it episodic contributions. Uh, so it's in people, so it wouldn't be about the contributions. It would be about the uh, the person. Okay. It's so there. so maybe it doesn't belong in this focus area. Uh, what well, could be contribution in contribution? <laughs> so the current question is how many contributors only contribute a little for a short amount of time? That is the question. So it is about the contributors, contributors and not about the contributions. Okay. So I'm going to tag this one as well. Right. All right. Um, event locations. Place event locations, we're good there. Time waiting for reviewer action and time waiting for submitter action. Okay, here they are. Okay, so we're we're good on all of these at least. They're lined up between the issues and the spreadsheet. Okay, good. Comments, anybody? No. Right on. So we do have, uh, so I will say this, we have, I don't know if it's on here. It's no, well, it's not, it's not in the issues yet. Uh, however, we are, we are releasing the uh, contribution platform metric. Uh, and that's just waiting on me. I'll put in the, I'll put in the pull request for that today and create the issue. And you, what is this one? Kevin? The collaboration platform metric. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it is this one in place. Yep. Okay. One. And so this one's that one should ready. be ready for release. I I need to uh, convert the Google Doc into a pull request, create the issue, and okay. add it to the. Uh, Read me. Okay. So the metric is initially complete yeah yeah that's that's an action item for me so. okay. and i should i should do that today okay we'll create the respective <laughs> things to put in this Is that right okay okay good Thank you, Kevin. Ooh, <laughs> the purple, that's so rarely used. I just changed it to that because it's ready. All right, let's <laughs> use it. Normally we just go from like in progress to under really? review. That was normally how we do it. All right, cool, thank you. All right, um, let's take a look at anything else we might have had from last time. Looks like we had a review. Of, looks like we did the review. And then it really looks like the rest of the stuff is with respect to working on a particular metric. Right? So let's take a look. Time waiting for submitter action. Sean, smoothing out. 
event location. Did you have a chance to do take a look at that, Kevin? So I, uh, that is in a very basic stage. Uh, mm -hmm. I am working on that uh, in parallel to the event location inclusivity metric uh, that okay. I am bringing forward for the DEI working group. Okay. Uh, so I figured it, it just makes sense that I do them both. Are they so two different metrics? They are two different metrics. However, the event location needs to be defined before uh, event location inclusivity can okay. be defined. Do you understand? You know what I mean? I do. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, and then collaboration platforms. You just commented on that. And language distribution. We actually took care of that. Um, bots, I was supposed to create an issue and I didn't do that. And then clones. I've logged on it. We can take a look at this one. Yeah, why don't we do that? It looks like before you do that, let me, let me just take a look at the bot activity one really fast. I felt like we had gotten pretty close to this one. I think so too. Uh, think, yeah. In our last meeting. I think I so think too. It just needs like uh, fine tuning and ready for the release. Okay, so really, it's just I should have done this in the last week. Is probably mostly just accepted the suggestions, and then done the whole process, like heading it to the README, getting the issue in the PR. Okay. So Make really. Sure you Yep. The text at the top. Oh, yeah. Can you <laughs> put that in the chat again, Kevin? Yeah, just a second. Uh, we... You always seem to have it very handy. Just I just keep it in my uh, clipboard. Do you? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say it kind of makes sense, but. Oh. OK, that's weird. I could have sworn we added. We just did this yesterday in DEI. Didn't we add that to the metrics template? I thought we added that to the metrics template. Why can't I? Why is it not in the metrics template? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I can grab it from. I can grab it from elsewhere, I suppose. So. And we should put it in the metrics template. Which one? Bot activity. What's that? Uh, which one in the metrics template? Bot activity. No, no, no. Looking for that disclaimer. Oh, okay. You know it, is that, like... the, it is in the template. It but is? Which, yeah, which, but probably which... not the one we used. Like this is a little bit older, so it probably wasn't in there at the time. But Are, it is. is it the is it the template in governance or is it the template in metrics? Oh, I was looking at the metrics one. Well, I just I linked to the one in metrics and I didn't. Uh wasn't there. So on the, on the, that's what I'm looking at. Okay. Metrics resources, metrics template. So under resources, metrics template. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. If we have more than one floating around, maybe we should not have that. <laughs> well, I think the crazy. I think the plan was to move that template from the metrics uh, repo into the governance repo. Gotcha. It's still, uh, but then we don't need a metrics repo. It just <laughs> it still <laughs> bothers me. We need to like mm -hmm. you know, put a picture of us in there or something like that. <laughs> uh, we could, uh, you know, we could store our our metrics releases in there. We could move that stuff in. Okay. Move the move the metrics PDFs in there. Yeah, uh, I mean, we could uh, we could merge the the Mars project. We could put the Mars project into that metrics repo. Yeah, uh, it makes me feel better. Uh, <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything, but <laughs> all right, cool. All right, I got that in there, so I'll fix that. Okay, so back to your um, clones of an on. Want me to open this up? Yes. Okay. 
Aaron, do you want to tell us what what you've been doing? So I've defined it like uh, what, uh, how many clones is the main question uh, that we are going to address. And I've made it a differentiation between technical fork and a clone because that has always been interchangeably used. I put it in a note over here. Uh, in this one, find the objectives. Maybe take a read and see if it makes sense. Or Kevin, I know you had some comments on clone versus fork. Does that help? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you? Yeah, I was, I was, I was pasting that disclaimer into the other, uh, into uh, the other template. <laughs> no, no, into the other working, working oh. Google documents that I have open currently. Okay. Uh, what was the, what was the question? So for clones, the metric that I have up right now, I know that you had some comments on clone versus technical form. Uh, how many clones of an open source project have been downloaded? And then the note just below that. Technical fork is a copy of a project on the same platform, whereas a clone is a copy of the project downloaded on a local machine. Yeah, I think that's fair. Is that good? Yep. Okay. So the question is, do we need to keep a note here and should we keep the same note in the technical form too? Or uh, because they two are so interchangeably used, I want to have a clear distinction in both the areas. So that's you know, like, I, I do think that's uh, I think that would be a good idea to add it to the technical fork metric as well. Yes. Uh, so for this note, though, you should uh, it, that so technical fork is a is a metric that's defined. So we should link directly to it. Yes. Uh, so I, I put the the square brackets and the and the URL link around technical fork. Okay. Uh, and then if you copy this verbatim into the technical fork one. Yes. Do it the same thing except uh, link the clone metric. Yep. Uh, Hi, Don. Hey, everybody. My conflict is only 30 minutes, turns out. Welcome. Thanks. So, and then in the in the objective section, you could probably you could probably add a little bit about the uh, the use cases around clones and technical forks. Uh, and the, there is a motivation difference, if I remember correctly. So a, a technical fork, generally the, the motivation for a technical fork is to possibly contribute back to the project. Say that again, Kevin, kind of the whole thing. <laughs> so uh, a, a, tech, a technical fork as part of a... Uh, the implication for a technical fork is that you're going to put in a pull request to make some change to the project. Yeah. So the goal is to contribute back to the original project through technical right. fork. So in the objective section, we have a little bit of that's the, this is the area where we could provide example use cases. Uh, and we could also talk a little bit about what the motivations for uh, looking at a clone versus a technical fork would be right so why would we why would why would counting clones be relevant rather than counting technical forks so when i was doing this i was thinking in this term like a clone also represents a kind of a download or a popularity metric like it can be tied to a popularity too so you so, many clones can be tied in that way too. So I, I like that's just an uh, so, can be a proxy. So a clone is a proxy for usage. Yes. Whereas a technical fork is 
part to, is is more connected to the uh, development process. Is that is that how we're understanding that? I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure that's completely accurate. But. Yeah. No. Like it, a clone can also be used as a part of a development process, but the key difference between two is the place where these two live. So if you, if you look at the uh, like uh, Git flow, uh, we have a server uh, like uh, up is, uh, upstream repository or project, and then we have a platform for like a copy on the platform and a copy on a local machine. If you look at this visualization that I'm selecting, so so a clone can be added to the fork and contributed back to the main project, or it can just be. And just live on your local machine. <laughs> These are so closely tied sometimes to me that I feel like we're making a metric because there's the option called clone in GitHub and there's the option called fork in GitHub. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I think I think that's accurate. I think yes. I think that's exactly the GitHub and GitLab differentiate between the two and we have the ability to count them. Uh, so I mean is it okay just to say clones as an indicator of how many times your project has been downloaded? period like yeah get, maybe leave it yeah that. download it on a local machine that's it and it might give you an insight like it says here into popularity and usage yep that's it like yep and then but i think i think you have to be careful with the word downloaded only because a lot of times people think of releases as being downloaded so like the open source projects always want to man want to measure downloads, which you actually just can't measure because there's no way to measure that. Um, so I just think we need to how many copies of a project are downloaded, um, I think will be confusing for people. I'm also not coming up with an alternative, so I don't know how cloned. Can we just say copy clone. copy of a project on a local machine? Saves. No, I would say I would say um, how many copies of the sorry, copied on the source local code? Machine. What you're really talking about is copies of the source code. You're not talking about like downloading a release or downloading a package or something like that. So I think if you like how many copies of the source sources, code are it's a clone. Maybe saved to. How many copies of a source code is copied on the local machine? Or I think Elizabeth said save to a save yeah. to a local machine. I think I like copied better. Copy. Whereas a clone is how many copies of the source code. Saved would be a, we wouldn't use copied twice. Is where a clone is how many copies of the source code are saved to local machines? Yeah. We have copy here. Saved. Is that okay? Oh, whoops, I was working on technical forks. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> number of clones indicates the number of copies. Oh, darn it. Clones of copy of project saved.
change this to the project popularity metric to and then delete that last sentence I need that, yeah. Yeah. and then delete the second part of the note second part. Where, the whereas part of the note is it's kind of redundant and about that um i wonder instead of sorry instead of source code i wonder if we want to say repository because you don't actually clone the whole project you clone a repository within a project i like that yes i think that might be more accurate and then the same thing on technical fork. It's a copy of the of a repository. So maybe we need to update because I copied these wordings from fourth two. So maybe we need to update these wordings on the fourth uh, release matrix. Yep, it's in review, so. Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll add to that. And then per Matt's suggestion, we just keep this one really, really simple because yep. it's quite, this one is quite literally just defining a term, right? Oh, I'm on, I'm on mute. Sorry. I think you're taking notes in the wrong section. I was wondering why I couldn't find any of the notes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> I was like, I want to click on the link because I saw, I saw a typo just as you went away from that page. And I was like, I'll just click on the link. And I'm like, I can't, can't find any link. Um, we, can, <laughs> we can blame all these problems on Sean. Yeah, Sean was supposed to run the yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a personal crisis he's dealing with he sent me a message. yes um okay so working on the clones metric to make similar like um language uh language edits right Bernard? yes that ai okay there okay Um, what else in the clones metric? I've met it to comments. I don't know whether Augur or Grimoire Lab are providing any visuals on the clones. I was not sure. I, just I, can't, added I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah, it's really hard to hear you, Vinod. So I'm saying like, uh, I'm not sure whether Augur or Grimoire Lab are providing the tools to display these this metric. Uh, I've just added these tools, but I'm not sure. So I, I have to check from Augur or Grimoire Lab on this. Yeah, I, I know they both they both uh, they both count phones. Okay, so maybe I'll then ask them to provide any visualization for that to add it over here. Yeah, I'm, um, uh, I'm not even completely sure we need a visualization for this. It's if they are providing like for example uh, clones by week or month will be helpful because we are adding them as a filter so and uh, i don't know who copied these images from where i i don't know the source code i copied them from uh, our weekly meeting notes so maybe uh, notes on these yeah those are not the visuals we would need so but they help to clarify the technical folks and clones too. This one, yep, yeah, this one especially, the first one in the green. Um, you don't know where that came from? No, somebody pasted them in the last weekly meeting. So I was not sure of the source. It is from the GitHub somewhere, but I don't know the exact uh, link of the image. 
Now we can do a reverse image search for it to find it. Okay. You can also ask Sean if I had to guess. I, I wonder if Sean pasted these in. Okay. It does, it does fit better up where it was just moved. Yeah, I put like, it. I like it there. Okay. Yeah. And I would that's, delete the other one. That's fine. Yeah, but this this image was so helpful to clarify the concept. Yeah. And I would I would add that to the the technical yeah. fork one as well. Yes. Uh, okay. Find the source. Great. Yep, and I have added the comment to the image to find the source and add a disclaimer for that. How about you're adding the disclaimer? Uh, I'll add the I'll find the exact source and add the disclaimer to this image. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, Vinod, was this? Did you add this? Yes. But I I didn't find the API link for the uh, GitLab or Bitbucket, but I found it for the GitHub. Okay. Yeah, and I wouldn't put it in data collection strategies. I would put that in the uh, tools. Hmm. So in the technical core, we have same things in the data collection strategies. Do we provide links to the APIs? Yes. Do we do that for anything else like issues like other metrics that you could get from the apis we haven't done that but in the technical pool that was there I so see. i mean auger and grimoire lab both pull they pull all of their data from the github api yes uh, additionally i i use graphql and r yeah. to pull things from the api but those are those are really tools. I don't know that the, the API link is a, it's not really a data collection strategy. To me, that, that feels more like tools. Yeah, even the way you just described it, Kevin, it's like, it's like Augur is the tool. Yeah. This is just a way to get the data that this okay. needs. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't even use the, I wouldn't use the, the GitHub API in that way. I might say, GraphQL, using GraphQL to access the GitHub API right. or something like that. Uh, but I, I don't know that I would provide a link. So I don't a, think a link to the API is a... a. API can be used in any of the programs. Like it can be GraphQL or it can be R, Python or whatever. But it's but a, it's a these tool, are it's the, not really a strategy. Yeah, these are the sources of collecting the data. So like it provides you a guide from how, how you collect the data from a particular source. So for me, the, the, the data collection strategies, and maybe I, maybe I understand it in a different way from other people, but the data collection strategies section is there uh, for situations where we don't have defined tools hmm. uh, or pieces of software to collect that I, uh, collect the information. So in that, so in, in some of the metrics will, for example, create surveys or like this is one way that you could grab the data. Yeah. And then it would also be a section where we could add any sort of uh, kind of relevant guidance for, for collecting the, uh, the information. Uh, I agree with disclaimers that. Disclaimers and things of that nature. Okay. The, if we're using a GitHub API link, it probably belongs in the tools section, but even then, I don't know that I would just use it by itself. No, because it's just to me, it's just part of those tools. So, should we provide those APIs or not? I think is, I might just delete it. If we are deleting it from here. Should I propose deleting the same in the from the technical folk? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do we keep it as reference? As we could keep them as references. Yeah. There was one more thing I found, uh, which was a new concept for me. Maybe people are familiar, which is partial clones. Like people don't copy the entire repository. Sometimes repositories are so big. And they do a partial, a portion of a repository as a clone. 
so that was a new concept to me and yeah i put it in the filter so is it a right base or right guidance or can we measure that perfect flow was a question to me Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, I have provided a GitHub lab, GitLab uh, link to that. They have clearly defined a partial clone and uh, the steps for doing it or something along that line. And I was working with this. That would have uh, been useful when I was doing my PhD and I kept having to clone the whole Linux kernel repository. Yeah. <laughs> How big was that? It was enormous. It took It took ages to just clone it. But it depends whether that was available on the GitLab uh, or not. No. <laughs> uh, I do. Uh, uh, I am. I am thinking that maybe you should add the uh, uh, some sort of reference to uh, a tool to access the API in the tools providing the metric section, though. Okay, so maybe we move it to the reference section. Yeah, I mean, for me, if I if I was if I was trying to get this data, I would use GraphQL and the GitHub API. Okay. Or to access the the GitHub API. Okay. So those are the 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 two tools that I would use together to grab this information from GitHub. Okay. All right. So Vinod, it seems like a couple of things after the action item is just clean this up. Yep. And I'll also uh, similarize the language for the technical tool. Yep. Okay. Hi, Georg. I'm just here because in 10 minutes we're recording a chaos cast episode. So I'm preparing for that. Hi, everyone. Good to see you, though. Yes. It has, it has nothing to do with wanting to spend time with us or the uh, common working group. Or celebrate Matt's birthday. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. The notes say you're going to be 50. I joined the 50 club. Welcome to the club. It's a good year for it. You know, I love you all, but I'm on vacation, so it's really don't, just for the chaos cast. Don't let us bother you with our meeting. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so really what Georg is saying is when he's on vacation, he doesn't want to hang out with us. <laughs> That's the way I interpreted it. Yes. <laughs> There's truth in that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, folks, we are at the end of time. Thank you, everybody, for being here and your contributions. Um, Don, just so you know, we basically, in the first part, got a lot of the metrics kind of finalized to kind of start heading out for community review. So cool. that's awesome. And just, yep, and just kind of talked about now that the website migration has happened, that the PRs for the focus area naming can kind of start occurring as well. Just cool. the Oh. All right. Well, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for surprise driving the meeting with no notice. Yes. <laughs> totally fine. I thought I was doing it anyway. Believe oh. it. And then I showed up and it was shot. And I was like, oh, great. And then it <laughs> not doing it. So, right on. Good to see everybody. We'll have bye, a good everybody. Day. All right. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Have a great day. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye.